This is a great all 544D10-55 towel handler. It's made in 130 second scale by an unnamed manufacturer. I think JLG made these directly, but I'm not really sure. The box and, and the underside of the model just say JLG Industries, so it's not very clear. Now JLG, about 15 years ago, just went on the warpath and decided to make a model of the majority of their product line. And they made all kinds of man lifts and, uh, and scissor lifts, and they also made a lot of telehandler models. Now JLG is the parent company of a couple different brands. Great All is one of them. Uh, Skytrack is another, and Law is another. Uh, so they made one model of each of those telehandler brands. And one of the reasons why they did that, or rather that they kept the brand separate, is each brand had um, a specific feature to them. And the, the big feature on the Great All was the steering system. It's different from any other telehandler, or at least most other telehandlers. If you look underneath, you can see it has a solid front axle, and the rear axle is where all the steering happens. So basically, what that means is this telehandler is going to drive just like a regular forklift in the warehouse. The back, the back wheels will turn almost enough that they will be completely perpendicular to the machine. And what that allows you to do is it'll keep this wheel in the same spot, and you can pivot the entire machine where that one wheel is, and that wheel will never move, which makes it pretty interesting to run. Personally, I never cared for it the couple times that I have run a great all telehandler. It's different, and if you're used to that uh, that crab style of steering, it takes a little bit of getting used to to get the telehandler to go where you want it to go. Some people like it, but I was not really a fan. Now, the model itself is pretty nice. JLG did a good job with these. The paint finish is very good. The decals are all very nice and clean and clear. And it's really just a nice model. It's got a very good amount of detail to it. You can see the hydraulic hose is run all over the place. The cab detail is pretty good. I mean, that's pretty much exactly what it looks like. There's not a whole lot to it. And then over here on the other side, you can see the hydraulic tank and the fuel tank and all that. And it really does look pretty good. Underneath, it looks just about as basic as you can get. Now, the the model number is a 544D1055. What that means is once you put your outriggers down, you can work out that way 44 feet. So that's what the 44 means. The 10 means that right here, it'll pick up 10,000 pounds. And then 55 means that your maximum working height is 55 feet. That's what the 544D1055 means. It's not just a random model number. The model number basically tells you right off the bat what the capabilities of the machine are. And that's, that's why it's, uh, it's numbered the way that it is. Now, as far as range of motion goes, it's really pretty good. The boom cylinders... Are stiff enough that it'll hold it in any position now the scoping cylinder is really stiff you only have one cylinder here for the first section and the other two don't have anything it'll come out about halfway and then it just uh, it gets real stiff and then the other two it starts off kind of rough and then it gets real loose and the final section is just loose all over but it scopes out fairly well and it displays very well it looks really good and uh, like I said, the beam cylinders are stiff enough, at least on this one, that it'll hold it in any position. But definitely, uh, it looks really good. So anyway, that's about it for this great all handler. It's a nice model. It displays well. JLG did a good job with them. Uh, it looks great with all the rest of the 132nd scale stuff. And it's kind of a unique model just because it's been discontinued. I think Great All made telehandlers for something like 20 or 25 years. So they, uh, maybe they never got too terribly big before they got bought by JLG. I'm, I'm not really sure. But I can tell you, you used to see some peppered around, you know, at least in my area. You'd see them here, there, everywhere. And nowadays, you really don't see any at all. And uh, that's just kind of the way it goes. But anyway, that's about it. 
If you have any questions or comments, feel free to ask. If you have something you'd like to see, let me know. I might just have it. Um, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more of what we have, please subscribe to Maryland Construction Diecast. And thanks for watching.